Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English, this is Mukesh Soni. In this video, we are going to have a discussion of 2023 examination, September 2023 examination question paper of fourth semester BCom BV generic English under Bangalore University. Even the BNU University students also can consider this question paper as a practice question paper because the syllabus is same and the QP pattern is also same. So let's begin it. The part one, the part one where out of seven questions, you need to answer five questions each uh, five questions each question is for two marks question number one why did the narrator's jeep stop on the way back from mudigere answer is here on the way back from the b shop the narrator's jeep's engine made a few strange sound noises and then stopped means to say the jeep broke down two men on a java motor bicycles helped the narrator to bring a cane of petrol Second, where did Mandana and Lakshmana work? Mandana and Lakshmana worked in a B cooperative society. Who is Piara? Piara is a Muslim boy working as a kitchen assistant in the narrator's house. Kiwi barked at the upturned earthen pot that contained bees. A beehive or bees, we can say. Then, what were the demands put forth by Norway Ramaya for the wedding? He would not accept a tali weighing less than four sovereigns. That was a demand by Norway Ramaya. The next question, why was Mandana arrested? Police raided Norway Ramaya's house. They heard, they had heard of illicit distillation. They took away Mandana's honey pot saying it contained country liquor. Hence, Mandana was arrested for trafficking in illicit liquor. Carvalho's team finally caught a glimpse of the, of the flying lizard. Yes, it's a true statement. It's a correct statement. Now the part two. In the part two, out of two questions, you are supposed to, sorry, out of four questions, you need to attempt two questions. So each question is for five marks. Question number one, narrate the incident that led to the chaos, of chaos at the Independence Day program at Mudigere. So Mandana could not present his petition for the job to the minister in person when he came to know that the minister's address was scheduled in the vast open ground in Mudigere on 15th August occasion, he decided to go there. He decided to go there and took part in the scout movement group. The scout group was carrying with drums, bugles, cymbals. After the unfurling of the flag, Mandana and his scout friends blew the bugles beat the drums and crushed the cymbals. The walls and the windows of the taluk office shook under the impact of the terrible noise he was creating. The hills and the forest around echoed and sent back the waves of reverberating noise. The murderous commotion disturbed the humble bees in the hive in the house, in sorry, in the hives at the taluk office and they, and they getting angry, buzzed and flew around. Everyone was attacked by the bees and the whole program was disturbed. People ran helter-skelter and Mandana could not submit his application to the minister. Question number two, describe Carvalho's fascination and curiosity towards the insect and animal world. Carvalho's presents, Carvalho presents so many worlds, the dream world, the world of science, the world of mystery and the work day world of normal simple human beings all are yoked together to the animal world through kiwi the narrator's golden spaniel and through the born climber of the trees biryani karepa the world of vegetation becomes an integral part of the story carvalho the epin carvalho the eponymous the eponymous character of the book undertakes a journey in search of the truth of human existence this evocative novel is set in a far away village in the Modigere district, which is situated in the foothills of the Western Ghats. Being a landlord, the narrator happens to meet Carvalho at his research center and consults him about the paste, pest in his crops. Carvalho gives him excellent advice by asking him to drain the water from the fields so that the paste, the pest may die. The narrator follows his advice and he's happy to know that his prediction has come true. The narrator is also surprised to learn that Mandana supplies pork to, to Carvalho and others and that he's favorite disciple of Carvalho. 
the relation between a scientist like Carvalho and an illiterate poor, illiterate boor like Mandana strikes the narrator as well as the reader as very much intriguing. So the narrator happens to meet Professor Carvalho at his, at his research center and ask him out Mandana. Carvalho shows him some glow worms which catch the bees and swallow them. The narrator wonders at the mystery of nature. When Carvalho helps him, how Mandana detected this mystery of nature. Now the narrator understands the bondage between the scientist and the servant. Thus, Mandana happens to be an unacknowledged and uneducated scientist in the sense that he has a scientific curiosity and the powers of observation rare among the people of his kind. So that, that is exactly the reason why Carvalho needs Mandana's help and service. In a way, both of them are complementary to each other in spite of the blatant difference between, the, between their status. So as the story progresses, we come to know that the scientist Carvalho was engaged in a quest tracing the endang uh, endangered flying lizard which his disciple Mandana had seen in the jungle of Norway. The rest of the story revolves around this mystical search for this extinct, extinct species as Carvalho tries to perceive and record a new, re new evolutionary order in nature. So this is how we can say that uh, Carvalho has a lot of, lot of fascination, the curiosity towards the insects and the animal world. Now the third question, what preparations did each of them make for the expedition into the forest of Nor Norway? So I means to say, what is the preparations have been done by this troop? Carvalho procured a big map of Norway, which is stretched from Shirdi Ghat to Charmadi Ghat. Mandana brought a man named Biryani Karyappa, whose job is to prepare biryani, he was also born climber of trees. With the help of the maps and graphs, Carvalho was thinking to start the track from one end of the Shridi Ghat and reaching Chikmangalur forest and the Bangalore Mangalur highway. He was sure that they could spot the flying lizard somewhere between the two points. Prabhakara had collected an electrical flash, a telecamera, a 16mm movie camera and a various set of lenses. Kariyappa picked up a sword and a double-barreled gun. Narrator's topless jeep became an object of humor for everyone. Karwal and Prabhakara were still discussing navigators, chronometers, compasses, almometers, etc. They all decided to reach first Darbar Pate by bus, then walk the distance to Norway. Mandana borrowed a bullock cart from a patty shopkeeper which could be used to transport and carry things across marshy areas in forest. So that was the preparations which was done by the complete troop for this expedition to the forest of Norway. Now write a note on Carvalho or a brief character sketch of Carvalho in the other ways, other meaning, other words. Carvalho, who is an officer at the Paddy Research Center and a great botanist and entomologist of great renown, and most importantly, the teacher of Mandana. Carvalho, the scientist with an international reputation, solves the narrator's problems of pest, uh, sorry, narrator's problem of pest, which is eating away his standing paddy crop. Carvalho considers Mandana as a born naturalist, a man with a keen art of observation and an extraordinary natural scientist. When Mandana is arrested by the police for illicit liquor case, the narrator gives surety for Mandana. Even Carvalho appoints a criminal lawyer to fight the case of Mandana. As directed by Carvalho, the narrator meets the criminal lawyer, um, lawyer Cyril Gonzalez, explains the case of Mandana, the narrator, Carvalho, and others attend the magistrate's court and Mandana wins the case because of Carvalho. Carvalho also appreciates Mandana's findings about the glow worm. Carvalho is interested in finding the lizard previously thought to have been extinct. Carvalho is now an, on a mission to find this creature. He asks the narrator to join his team, his fellow student Mandana, a cameraman and the cook biryani Kariyappa. The narrator begins the journey into the thick forest of Norway in search of an ancient creature which no human eyes has ever seen. At last, they are disappointed for not catching the flying lizard, 
but they were very they were very happy that they had disco- discovered and they had a glimpse of such a rare bird in the sayadri mountain range with the help of an illiterate person like mandana so karwalos in the narrator's curiosity for scientific truth is quite fulfilled so we can also say this also shows karwalos fascination and the curiosity um towards the insect and the animal animal world so now we are moving to the part 3 <clears> then <throat> marks questions you will be given here two questions in our, and out of two questions you need to attempt one question so the karwalos lessons video karwalos uh, the whole novelas videos are are already done and the model question paper is also done you can see the links in the description now the first question for 10 marks narrate the events that led to the arrest and release of mandana very interesting episode mandana's wedding with norway ramaya's daughter rami takes place the narrator and karwalo attend it lakshmana acts as the father of the bridegroom mandana prabhakara photographs the wedding rituals narrator and karwalo are happy to see that mandana has settled down happily in life but a few days after his marriage mandana is beaten up and taken by the police into the custody for illicit illicit brewing for keeping the illicit liquor when the narrator goes to the police station at mudigere and observes mandana's plight he feels pity for him he bails mandana out on humanitarian humanitarian grounds by standing surety to him of course mandana is ha- mandana is happy to be released from the police custody but after a few days the narrator receives a court summons about mandana he feels very uh, irritated and uh, disturbed and curses mandana himself for standing surety to the idiot mandana he cannot wriggle out of the legal procedure nor does he know what to do about it he therefore explains his difficulty to lakshman and karwalo the narrator knows mandana only as an ordinary servant but karwalo has a deeper understanding of mandana as an as an inevitable mediator for the unraveling of the mystery and the history of nature finally karwalo wants to appoint a criminal lawyer to fight the case and get mandana released from the cop and from the police custody as directed by karwalo the narrator meets the criminal lawyer gonzalves and explains the case of explains the case of mandana and why they want him to be released they are badly in need of mandana service in the in the adventure in the adventurous discovery of the mysterious dream world the narrator karwalo and the attender atten, sorry the narrator karwalo and others attended the magistrate's court in the court the public prosecutor argued that whatever the pot content was indisputed indisputed sorry what are the uh, whatever the pot content it was a base material for the manufacture of liquor even gonzalves appeared to be in a tight spot over there but then he asked the prosecutor if he would agree that what was originally in the pot was honey he said yes it could be and that was enough for gonzalves he argued that the cost of a bottle of liquor was 60 paisa whereas the cost of a bottle of honey was rupees 10 and no sensible man would want to lose rupees 10 on every bottle of liquor he made hence the lawyer intelligently won the case in in the in favor of mandana so this is how we have uh, this is how these are the incidents which led to the arrest and the release of mandana now the next 10 marks question we have here how does purnachandra tejasvi bring out the humor and curiosity in the novela karwalo elements of humor and the elements of curiosity the narrator buys the excellent honey from gutti area in the modigere bee, bee, bee keepers cooperative society and finds it very tasty although it is whitish like coconut oil honey is as desirable as the bee sting is undesirable but both the aspects are combined in the life of bees which holds mirror to the paradox of life when a minister is about to address the public behind the taluk taluk development office at mudigere mandana is one among others to give a guard of honor to the minister while the minister hoists the tricolor national flag mandana beats his drum like a mad person to show his respect to the minister 
Consequently, the bumblebees are frightened by the loud sound and bite the minister, the police, and all others, including Mandana. And there was a completely hustle and bustle, hustle and bustle, and a great disturbance happened on the particular spot. This is one of the best examples of the humor portrayed in this in the novella. As well as we can also find the another humorous example which could be seen during the wedding scene of Mandana, when how the photograph how the photograph was being taken and how Lakshmana was looking after all the guests and how he was controlling all the other people. Now the curiosity, the examples of curiosity. How does uh, Poonachanda Tejasvi bring the curiosity in this novella? So the published in 1980, Poonachanda Tejasvi's Kannada classic Karwalu is set around the town of Mudigere in Chikmagalur, a typical town in the Western Ghats. The locals grow honey, rear cattle, and live a hard, a very hard life. which is made harder by police and the politicians they have a stranger in the midst professor carvalho a scientist posted at a nearby research center uh, is a treasury of information on all kinds of agricultural problems an expert on glow worms and a man who receives photographs and the letters from around the world one day carvalho confesses that he is on the trail of very rare lizard one that can fly The creature is a living fossil, a relative of the dinosaurs that survived the extinction by growing wings. Though it was last observed a hundred years ago in Africa, Carvalho is sure is it matches the descriptions of a creature seen recently in the forest of the Western Ghats. He has written to the Smithos. Uh, he has written. he has written to the smithsonian institute and the british geographical institute and they have jointly offered a reward for this amazing lizard payable in pounds sterling now all the locals want to be friends with carvalho a search party armed with a cook heads into the woods fatik sets in quickly and and men and men who are used to coming to the wilderness only for firewood or shikar grow weary of its monotony the scientist revives the scientist revives them and he makes them see the forest with new eyes he touches the branch of a tree and it sprouts the mustache and legs and turns into worm under the dark cover of the trees the locals hold discussions with carvalho does god exist does he oversee evolution evolution if all creatures are subject to evolution how has this living fossil alone opted out the process at last they find the lizard or something that might be the the lizard to give it chase as it glides through the through the trees slipping past the hands again and again to reach the very edge of the western ghats now carvalho and the others think they have got it the lizard is at a sheer cliff with no way to go the mysterious reptile however has one last trick to play on its on its pursuers at the end the flying lizard is given a suffocating chase and due to the same the climax is both heartwarming and cosmic the expedition like all true expeditions is a failure as well as a success the flying lizard escapes but expeditions have succeeded in understanding in an important way of evolution of the universe so we can say that it is the curiosity it is the it is the out of the curiosity that carvalho apurna chanda tejasvi's carvalho presents many worlds the dream world the world of science and mystery and the world of normal simple human beings all these are yoked together to the animal world through kiwi the narrator's golden spaniel the narrator's dog and through the born climber of the trees biryani kariyappa and the world of vegetation becomes an integral part of the story so this is how we have discussed here this 30 marks questions from the novella carvalho you can see the carvalho's uh, previous videos links in the description now we are going to have a discussion of the 20, 10 marks questions from the ted talks and poems in the in the section number 4 answer two questions out of four questions each each question is for five marks question number 1 from the poem ordon grishin on 
John Keats brings in the themes of transience and permanence in the poem Odd on Grecian Urn. In this poem, John Keats contrasts the life to a work of art. Towards the end of the poem, the poet asserts the superiority of life, or sorry, superiority of art over real life. The poet advocates the idea that the life is always transient while the life depicted in a work of art is perfect and permanent. The poet happened to visit the British Museum where he looked at the urn that is being discussed in the present poem. He was greatly excited to see the freshness and the perfection in the carved images taken from the pastoral life of the people living in the Tempe or the valleys of Arcady. He saw some, some men or the gods pursuing some maidens who were trying to escape from them. The poet calls it as a mad pursuit. Then the poet's eyes fall on the musicians who play upon the pipes and tumbrils. The poet is not able to hear the music, but he can imagine that they were lost in a wild ecstasy while playing upon the instruments. All the images are so perfectly carved on the urn that the poet also enters in the, into the state of imagination. He feels as if he were there one among the lovers and the pipers. We may say that the poet achieves a state of negative capability here. He has forgotten his own self and started enjoying the music and the passion of the lover's mad pursuit. Thus, the whole poem revolves around the theme of transience of life and the permanence of work of art. The poet says that the passion of the lovers will never diminish. It will remain the same for the centuries together till the urn remains undamaged in the, Brit in the British Museum. The trees on the urn will remain green forever and the leaves will never get dry due to, due to the ravaging effect of time. The musicians will never get tired of playing upon their instruments like pipes and the tumbrils. The lovers will never be able to kiss the beloveds, but the poet tries to console them by saying that their beloved will always remain young. In this way, human generations will come and go, but the artistic carvings on the urn shall always be the source of joy and solace. They will always provide relief to us from the bitter realities of life. But in real life, everything is in a state of flux, so nothing is constant and permanent. All the physical world on the earth is subject to decay and death. The urn is also a physical object, but its life is longer than that of human beings if it is kept safe and sound. Finally, the poet gives a great message to all human beings. He advises us that the truth is always a beauty and beauty is always truth. So I have given the answer in such a manner that any question which appear in the examination which will fit to this answer. Now the question is here, how does R.K. Ramanujan explains the spirit of agelessness of the Champak trees from the poem Ecology? A.K. Ramanujan has tried to show the difference in the views of people belonging to the old generation, that is her mother, and those belonging to the new generation, that is he himself or the poet. The old people have emotions, memories, beliefs, etc. attached to the ecology. For the poet, the red champak trees have no use. Their pollens pollute the air and thus the city. They cannot be prevented from entering the houses and the human body. The pollens are the cause of the severe migraine pain that his mother is suffering. And as the poet has no emotions attached to the ecology or the trees, he decides to cut them. On the other hand, his mother's perspective is on contrary to his views. For her, the trees not just a tree, but a good omen for her and for her house. It is a flower of the red chump. It is the flowers of the red champak trees, which she and the other people, the coming generations, other people will offer to the gods and to the daughters, as the poet says, to give her to give her gods and daughters and a daughter's daughters basketful of annual flower and for one line of cousins a tower of migraines in season. Question number three, why, oh, sorry, what according to Vandana Shiva is eating? What is the meaning of eating according to Vandana Shiva? The TED Talk titled Solutions to Food and Ecological Crisis Facing Us Today is delivered by Vandana Shiva. In this speech, she speaks about 
her learning experiences from chipka moment capitalist patriarchy and ecology speaking on eating vandana shiva states that she mentions that we used to eat 8500 crops we are eating eight commodities it's destroying the farmers and the public's health but eating is an ecological act eating is an ethical act eating is a political act and eating is an agricultural act the separations that have been made between those who grow the food and those who eat the food if only that link could be closed the way we are trying to close it in a loop in naudanya miracles start to happen miracles like the paradox that the more you eat by sorry the more you eat biodiversity the more you grow it the more you eat biodiversity the more you grow it so that's our opinion or eating about eating question number 4 how are the spouses of heart patients trained in mysore hospital according to dr devi shetty so dr devi shetty dr devi prasad shetty the king of real hearts a renowned cardiac surgeon and an indian philanthropist speaks at tedx gateway in 2013 about providing pioneer quality medical care at affordable prices a 300 bed super specialty heart hospital was built for 6 million dollars this hospital has come up in mysore dr devi shetty says that once the surgery is done in mysore hospital the patient is not taken care by the ward the patient is not taken care uh, patient is not taken care in the ward i'm sorry patient is not taken care in the ward by the nurses patient is cared by the spouses generally a heart patient is uh, on the fifth day is ready to go home but as far as the mysore hospital is concerned dr devi shetty remarks that on the fifth day of the surgery wife will be called and given her one plastic bag filled with medicines and tell her tell her or ask her to care of of her husband now she has no idea how to do this for this dr shetty says that they worked with the stanford university in developed an audio or video based curriculum to train the spouse to be the caregiver so that there will be continuity of the care when the patient goes home so this is how the patients are looked after by the spouses and this is how the spouses are given training to look after the patient after the surgery at home so these are the four questions uh, for 10 marks out of four questions you need to attempt to uh, two questions so we have discussed here 40 marks questions in the description you can see the links of karwalo the links of vandana shiva dr devi shetty speech the links of ecology and the ordan grishan and poem summary as well as the model question paper uh, solved model question paper link also you can see the video link also you can see in the description box now we are going to have a discussion of the rest of the 20 marks from the workbook or from the we can say the language skills now here the part fifth part you need to answer one question out of the two questions the first question uh, five marks first question is here explains the steps of preparing pecha kucha presentation so what is pecha kucha uh, the answer is given in such a manner which could answer which will answer all the questions related to pecha kucha pecha kucha is a presentation format that requires a speaker to deliver 20 seconds of commentary per slide for 20 consecutive automatically advancing slides The total presentation slide uh, time for Pecha Kucha presentation is six minutes and forty seconds, six point four zero. Pecha Kucha, which means the sound of conversation or chit chat in Japanese, is a very popular event and novel way for companies and educators to help employees and students students sharpen public speaking skills and promote connectivity. So that is the significance of Pecha Kucha or the origin or the meaning of Pecha Kucha. now the steps number 1 divide your presentation into a beginning middle or end for example you can give a quotation you can give a question you can say a short story in the very beginning number 2 storytelling and pecha kucha go in hand hand by hand or hand in hand so you can include the dramatic version here you can you can bring up some sort of story you can tell about some sort of moment uh you can say about some anecdotes about a, of your life as well number 3 focus on the core message define your key message so precisely as possible and weave your presentation around it 
So you will quickly find a convincing presentation structure that fills the seven minutes informatively 6.40 and gets a heart to the gets to the heart of the matter. Find image that follow a storyline means to say take such kind of images which really suits to the your presentation and better to take up some sort of a original original images which connects with your story. Then picture can be found everywhere so take your own photos from your own camera from your own smartphone scan the photos from the newspaper magazines books so try to collect some original pictures possibly if you can draw that will be more uh, effective sixth step is here practice your presentation that's very important giving a picture which a presentation takes practice it requires time because there's a strict time frame which requires you that you need to give the best presentation and also pay attention to your body language while giving presentation be relaxed and speak with the intention so these are the six important steps and the second question with a choice to the presentation is here extempo speech on smoking in public place so you have speech here you need to give a speech on the smoking in public place here so what are the pros and cons of smoking public place so you can go through the answer you can begin your speech which with the greeting to the audience and also say that on which topic you are going to speak give a setting give a beginning uh, give a big push big beginning to your to your speech give some sort of uh, good examples to make it more effective so you can pause the video and you can go through this answer and uh, moreover try to give a good concluding remark about your speech so your ex tempo for five marks and with a uh, there is a choice between precha kucha and the speech as far as this question paper is concerned and at the end of the speech you should give a thank note so i'm not going to read the speech content here you can pause the video and you can go through the speech that's for five marks second sixth one is here uh, five marks question again and in this sixth part you have here three choices three choices are given here one is business writing one is travelog and one is article writing so we have first question what is business writing give examples business writing is a type of writing that is used in a professional setting it's a purposeful piece of writing that conveys relevant information to the reader in a clear concise and effective manner it includes client proposals reports memos emails notices circulars proficiency in business writing is a critical aspect of an effective communication in the workplace so what's the example let's take an example a meeting agenda a meeting agenda serves as an example of informational business writing it's a document that outlines the topics covered during a meeting and the goals it aims to achieve the person leading the meeting may draft the agenda or delegates the task to someone else now what is the format of meeting agenda you can go through this format date time location agenda details here duration purpose leader who are the leader here what are the decisions are to be taken so this is how you can answer about the meeting agenda one of the examples of business writing you can also give other examples like about memo emails so you need to draft a sample second question with an option in the section write a travel log of your trip to a seashore so travel log means to say it's about a, about an experience uh, of your travel of your journey to a particular place so here the question says that you need to talk about your visit to a seashore and you need to write it as a travel log about your travel history about your experience so you can go through the content title you need to mention either you can describe one day travel log two day travel log depends on the content so you can go through this content so i have tried to give it about a uh, five days travel log here with the concluding remark so you can mention like this so you can go through this travel log and make it very simple very readable language without any grammatical error let any kind of reader may read they should not feel difficulty that is a motive of your travel log that's a main from the language aspect now the third question again you have from the writing skill uh so you had an option business writing travel log or article writing you had to write an article on the topic importance of time management so again it reflects your writing skill how better you write and without any grammatical error there should be a good connectivity of the thoughts you can go through this article you uh, though it's it's a question for five marks so better to write maximum one page so you can pause the video you can go through this answer now we are moving to the 
next segment next question here seventh one well this question this question is from letter writing or the email writing so you here you need to attempt one question out of the three questions so draft a congratulation letter to your colleague on her promotion as a team leader oh, on her promotion as a team leader so so you can go through here the the from address mr naresh datta the date and receiver satish team leader marketing department dear mr satish subject hearty congr congratulations then the body of the letter i am delighted to extend my warmest con congratulations to you on your well deserved promotion to the position of team leader in the marketing wing this achievement reflects not only your exceptional skills and dedication but also the trust and the confidence that the company has in your abilities so you can go through this body of the letter and the concluding conclusion yours sincerely the name ramesh naresh datta so follow the the letter format from address date and receiver's name and address salutation dear sir madam or subject body of the letter then complimentary close and signature so this is a quite common format for all the letters second question you have from the email writing draft an email to inquire about the fee structure for bcom course in the xyz college from the xyz college so you need to write here to uh, to whom are you are writing the the companies or the college email address subject inquiry regarding bcom course fee then salutation dear sir madam then you have the body of the email i hope this email finds you well my name is mahesh and i am writing to inquire about the fee structure uh, for the bachelor of commerce course in your college for the upcoming academic year i would like to have a clear understanding of the tuition fees as well as any additional charges or expenses associated with the course like i want to know the following tuition fees additional charges scholarship payment schedule deadline for the payment i would appreciate it if you could also share any relevant documents of the brochures that provide a detailed breakdown of the fee structure and any the important information about the bcom course i look forward to hearing from you soon and hope to become a part of the xyz college community regards mahesh and the phone number if if required so that's a format of the email then the third question you have here draft an appreciation letter to the employee in your company for winning a prestigious award in the company so the same case here from address and then date the receiver's name and address dear mr satish bhatia the the salutation and the subject appreciation letter then the body of the letter on behalf of the management we would like to appreciate you for receiving the lifetime achievement award for your contribution towards the company's progress your professionalism reflects in the countless hours that you have invested this has impressed the entire team your self motivation dedication and diligence are an inspiration for our team you are you have set an example for everyone here we heartily congratulate you for this regards shri hr so like this you have here three questions uh, two letters and one email so whichever you feel comfortable and you feel that you can you are very much good in writing either you attempt the email writing or the letter writing and i have already done the videos on both the topics letter writing and the email writing you can see the links of those videos in the description now moving to the last section of this question paper social media content writing here you have three questions and out of the three questions you need to attempt one question one is blog writing instagram writing and writing on twitter so any one you attempt and each question has the five marks so first one write a blog on health benefits of exercise exercising is not uh, is not about losing weight only and people who think otherwise have been living an unhealthy life under a rock exercise is in any moment that makes the muscles work and helps the body to burn calories and getting a regular exercise will help you stay healthy both physically and mentally i have not given the full answer to this question you can go through this blog um the blog uh, you you can go through this blog here and blog is i would say blog is as simple as how we write a paragraph about any topic 
only one thing we just put that content on a particular social media platform that is wordpress.com or any of the blogger any of the blog website only the opening of the blog should be quite very much catchy because you need to engage the readers you need to engage the audience so don't worry this question is as similar to the paragraph writing next write a suitable caption um, for the following image to promote your instagram page use suitable hashtag so this picture is given this picture is given in your question on your question paper and based on the picture you can uh, write any suitable uh, instagram uh, caption with suitable hashtag so i have tried my best obviously it's not the last answer or uh, the instagram content or the instagram captions with a hashtag differs from person to person so you can also have your own but i like this one chal beta selfie le le re Uh, which this is given by one of my students anjali she has given this this questions answer so i have borrowed this answer from her so keep smiling photoholic hashtag #selfie time interesting answer last question of your question paper write a tweet commenting on the recent uh, recent train accident in odisha so this blog uh, sorry this tweet i have borrowed from abhinandan calls uh, tweet twitter handle so courtesy to abhinandan calls twitter handle uh, deep, deepest condolence to the affected families in odisha it is heart wrenching to hear about the train accident wishing a speedy recovery for the to the injured appreciate the efforts of railway minister and the rescue teams for the prompt response and assistance so thank you abhinandan call for giving this interesting and very informative uh, tweet so this tweet this post has been taken for the education purpose only so it's just i have tried to give you quite a, a very live example so that it's very easy for you to understand that how the tweet is written on the twitter handle or on the x handle now it is tweet is x so friends this is how i have tried to solve the question paper of fourth semester bcom bba generic english of the examination august or uh, august september 2023 under bangalore university and this question paper solution can also be considered as a practice paper for the bangalore north university and other universities which have the same syllabus and all the videos links tarwalo uh, the two poems ted talks email writing uh, business writing email writing pesha kucha travel log article writing mail writing blog writing instagram writing all the links all the videos have already been done you can find the links in the description so thank you so much for watching wish you good luck for the examination